Hi! In this video, I'll be showing you a few things I was not able to include in the previous video from my Kuromi Collection Part 1. At the same time, I'll show you my recent Kuromi purchases. I'll also tell you where do you, I usually look for and buy my Kuromi stuffs. Stay tuned and keep on watching! I'll start with the remaining part 2 collection. These are just two things which I was not able to include in the previous video. The first item is a mug cover. I got this from Hong Kong way, way, way back. Uh, I think this is overused already. There's a crack already on the sides. The second item is this Kuromi notebook I got from Chinatown in Thailand. So, I use this as my happy notebook, meaning I write here anything that makes me happy, my achievements, all of those things are here. Well, the next segment will be my recent purchases for this year. The following things that I'll be showing you are from Chum Paradise from Shopee. This is one of my favorite shops to look for Kuromi stuff because they really have a lot of variety of Kuromi stuff in there. So, for this first item, this is a Kuromi notepad. Um, as you can see, here are the designs inside the notepad. Our second item is a passport cover. This is made of plastic. And once you open it, it this is what it looks like inside. There's a garter to keep it closed. I use this for my bank book so it's easier to find, sort of like a key finder or a key holder. Inside, there's a flap where you can put your cards or credit card into it. And then there are flaps on both sides. So you can place probably the flaps of your either passbook or your passport. There, I think this is a perfect fit. And then you just close this uh, with the use of the garter. And this is what it looks like. Oh, I forgot to show you the back side. So this is what it looks like on the back. Third item is this shopping bag. Let me just take this off from the plastic. So this is what it looks like. The front and the back have the same design. And there's a zipper on top where you can get the echo bag inside. It is not attached, so you might lose that pouch. But once you open it, OMG, so cute ito! The material of this is like a canvas fabric. So I think it's a little, it feels waterproof. But I have not tested this yet. So let me check the inside if there are inside pockets. So there are none. These are, this is just a simple echo bag with no pockets inside but it's so cute. What I like about the fabric it's, is that it's not so thick, uh, but it's not also that thin e either. So it's just like uh, just the right amount of thickness of echo bag. So it's not too heavy, not too bulky, but at the same time, I think uh, it is strong enough to hold your groceries or your the things that you buy, you will buy. Our fourth item is this bag. I think this is perfect for putting your makeup stuff. And probably I put some of my craft supplies here if I'm not using this as a makeup bag. There are two knotted strings at the sides, both sides. And you can just pull this to make this a drawstring type of bag. The fabric of this is like a cheesecloth fabric or the kacha. So this is that waterproof. If you like this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button or thumbs up sign. Our fifth item is this set of three document pouches. So these are flat like envelopes, uh, but the material is uh, fabric. So this is a set of three with different sizes. The smallest pouch measures 7 by 5.5 inches. The medium pouch measures 8 by 10.5 inches. The largest pouch measures 
9 by 13.5 inches. The back of this, there's no net in it. So, there's a variety of a document pouch where the back is net, but this one is not. It's a full fabric. Our second shop is again from Shopee. This is from overseas, uh, iPhone case. For our next shop, this is also overseas but also from Shopee are the waterproof Kuromi stickers. I got two packs of the Kuromi stickers of different designs. I actually used some of these already in one of my bullet journal setup which I will link at the upper right corner of your screen. This last shop is where I got my most favorite Kuromi purchase of the year. So this was originally from the Sanrio website and we just ordered it and this shop is uh, like a passerby service so they have based in Japan and in the Philippines so you just they buy together in bulk and then they ship it to the Philippines uh, after one or two months so I got mine after two months so inside this is a pencil case there's a metal or hard part at the top part and then inside you can see there are pockets two, pack, two small pockets and a netted pocket at the back and I think this will fit the pilot juice pen and let's see if it fits the copic markers as well so i think this fits also the copic markers so i think this is great for traveling and you put your art supplies inside it has two zippers so let me just open this one to see what does the zipper pull look like so our first zipper is a translucent purple almost transparent and it has a written Sanrio in the middle. Okay, so let's now open the second zipper. So for this one. So the second one is a pink translucent acrylic zipper pull. And in the center, there's a ribbon. And let me just give you one final look with the two zippers in the middle. Our next item is also another pencil case. This one is a little bit bigger than the first one. So this is what the tag looks like uh, featuring what's inside. But we'll open this up also here in this video. So let me just open the larger portion or the larger pouch side. So this is quite spacious. You can put a lot of things inside it. And... There's one smaller pocket inside where you can put your papers or your cards inside also there. And I need not anymore include in the video but this is large enough to put your Copic markers as well. So I forgot to show you the bottom part so this is what it looks like. And then we'll open now the front pocket. So for this front pocket, there's more pockets inside so there's a strap on the left side. On the right, there are two netted pockets. Oh, sorry. I was able to film the Copic markers also pala. So, this is what it looks like. Uh, there are two different pockets of the netted one on the right side. And this is the left side, how it looks like if you put your pen inside. So, in the next, I'll be showing you the list of the shops where you can also get Romy stuff from I just did not buy from them this year and this one uh, as suggested by one of our viewers got shipped internationally thank you for your suggestions I've been browsing through this shop a lot and I think this is my last recommended shop. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and click the thumbs like button. And you can watch my other videos as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.